Hello my dear friends, welcome to my channel Ives with Priyanka. In this video, I am going to explain you the test 3 of General Cambridge Book 11. This is the section 3 and the heading of the passage is Efforts to save a special bird, the spoon-billed sandpiper. First we have the 28 to 33 questions are the list of heading. The questions are 6 and the headings given are 8. Then we have 34 to 37 questions, the MCQs. And the last three questions are the fill in the blanks and we are to write the one word only in the blanks. We are instructed that one word only. In this video, I will solve the questions with you. So first we will quickly read the list of headings and understand them and know that what we are to find. So the first heading is gaining public recognition. That is something would be explained in the paragraph about which the public is concerned. Second heading is reasons for the continuing to make the long journey. कुछ रीजंस एक्सप्लेन किए होंगे पैराग्राफ में जिसके बारे में बताया होगा कि लॉन्ग जर्नी किस परपस के लिए की गई है थर्ड हेडिंग इज अ डिसअपॉइंटमेंट फॉलोड बाय अ डिजायरेबल आउटकम्स कोई रिजल्ट जो डिजायरेबल आ गया लेकिन उसके बाद में डिसअपॉइंटमेंट आ गई कुछ भी गलत हो गया ऐसे कुछ ऐसे एक्सप्लेन किया गया होगा पैराग्राफ में फोर्थ हेडिंग इज द मेन स्टेजेस ऑफ द प्लान कोई प्लान बनाया हो गया होगा और उसके बारे कुछ मेन स्टेजेस के बारे में एक्सप्लेन किया गया होगा Fifth heading is a growth in the number of natural predators. जो natural predators हैं, उनका जो number है, वो increase हो गया होगा. Sixth is increasing threats. जो threats हैं, वो increase हो गए होंगे. Heading number seventh is a very unusual feature of these birds. कुछ birds का वो feature explain किया गया होगा, जो very unusual है, जो किसी और bird में नहीं है. And the heading number eight is Cautious optimism. Cautious optimism is about which they are working. They are very hopeful about that. Now we have read all the headings and understand them. Then we read the first question of MCQ and our blank. Now the first MCQ is what was the main purpose of the international expedition? Main purpose जो है वो explain किया गया होगा paragraph में international expedition. This is our keyword that is the international expedition. उसका मेन पर्पस जो है वो क्या था एंड द फर्स्ट ब्लैंक इज इन अर्ली स्प्रिंग स्पून बिल्ड सैन पाइपर रिटर्न टू देयर ब्रीडिंग ग्राउंड इन रशिया इन द एरिया नॉन एज स्पून बिल्ड सैन पाइपर जो थे वो रिटर्न टू देयर वापस आए होंगे जो देयर ब्रीडिंग ग्राउंड्स कहाँ पे आए हैं ब्रीडिंग ग्राउंड दिस इज आर की इन रशिया इन द एरिया नॉन एज उस एरिया को क्या नाम देते हैं वो हमने ब्लैंक फाइंड आउट करनी है now read the section A that is a first glance the spoon billed sandpiper resembles, resembles other small migratory birds at first glance means पहली बार देखने में spoon billed sandpiper जो है resemble करते थे other small migratory birds of the sandpiper family that breed across the arctic but it is the only one only one that is a special one to have developed a flattened bill that flares out into a spoon at the end and that makes it special. ये हमने heading जो है वो read की है. This is the heading is a very unusual feature of these birds. तो इसी line से हमें हमारी heading मिल गई है. तो section number A की जो heading हो गई है, that is heading number seven. And a very uh, a very unusual feature of these birds. Now read the paragraph further. A bird's Russian name, Kuli Clapton name. Shovel beak, which is an apt description of a remarkable structure. The bill is 19 mm long and 10 mm wide near the tip, and the edges are lined with sharp. कोई भी क्वेश्चन हमारे इस इनफॉरमेशन के रिगार्डिंग नहीं है जो हमने क्वेश्चंस हमारा MCQ और ब्लैंक रीड की है. Now read the paragraph B. That is until a few years ago, कुछ साल पहले, spoon bill sandpiper had never been fully documented, which added to its fascination. But an air of mystery is not helpful if you are a critically endangered species. So the organization Bird Russia, organization जो एक बनाई Bird Russia, decided to produce a, produce a photographic and audio record. तो वो इन्होंने ये plan बनाया है, कुछ वो decided कुछ उन्होंने decide किया है to produce a photographic and audio record of this imperiled bird with the help of experts around the world. In May. Of last year, I joined the international expedition. हाँ, हमारा MCQ जो था वो international expedition के regarding था. We will read it later. First, we will solve the list of heading. 
uh, I joined the international expedition to one of that one of the species last bird stronghold in the northeast Russia. The primary aim of the primary aim हो गया उसका जो एक plan बनाया था उन्होंने उसका primary aim ये हो गया of the two and a half month expedition. Uh, however, was to collect eggs from the sandpiper. पाइपर उन्होंने एग्स को इकट्ठा करना था दोज एग्स दैन बी हैस्ड इन कैप्टिविटी नियर बाय लेटर द चिक्स वुड बी फ्लॉन टू द वाइल्ड फॉल एंड द वेट लैंड ट्रस्ट हेड क्वार्टर एट द स्लिम ब्रिज इन द यू के इन ऑर्डर टू एस्टेब्लिश अ स्मॉल सेल्फ स्टेनिंग पॉपुलेशन देयर दीज बर्ड्स वुड प्रोवाइड अ सेफ्टी नेट टू एंश्योर अ पॉलिसी अगेंस्ट द वाइल्ड बर्ड्स डाइंग आउट तो ये उसका कुछ उन्होंने जो प्लान बनाया ये उसकी प्राइमरी प्राइमरी एम उनका ये हो गया एंड लेटर जो उसके बाद में वो क्या आ गया तो ये स्टेजेस होगी प्लान की सो so, इसी के अकॉर्डिंग हमारी जो हेडिंग थी दैट इज गेनिंग पब्लिक रिकोगशन लॉन्ग जर्नी डिबेट डिजायरेबल आउटकम्स द मेन स्टेजेस ऑफ द प्लान सो तो एक प्लान बनाया उसकी प्राइमरी एम था फिर लेटर बाहर उन्होंने एक्सप्लेन किया तो इसी के अकॉर्डिंग जो हमारा ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन दैट इज सेक्शन बी उसकी हेडिंग है द मेन स्टेजेस ऑफ द प्लान दैट इज हेडिंग नंबर फोर नाउ वी कम टू आर फर्स्ट एम सी क्यू दैट इज वॉट वॉज द मेन पर्पज ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल एक्सपीडिशन नो वी विल रीड अगेन द मेन पर्पज जो क्या था इंटरनेशनल एक्सपीडिशन का यहाँ पे उन्होंने बात की थी द प्राइमरी एम ऑफ द टू एंड हाफ मंथ एक्सपीडिशन प्राइमरी एम उसका क्या था हाउ एवर वॉज टू ये तो था ही कि वॉज टू कलेक्ट एग्स फ्रॉम द वाइल्ड सैंड पाइपर्स दो एग्स कैन बी हैज इन द कैप्टिविटी नियर बाय लेटर द चिक्स वुड बी फ्लॉन टू द वाइल्ड फॉल एंड वेट लैंड ट्रस्ट हेड क्वार्टर्स एट द सैमरेज इन यू के इन ऑर्डर टू एस्टेब्लिश क्या करने के लिए किस क्या एस्टेब्लिश करने के लिए स्मॉल सेल्फ सस्टेनिंग पॉपुलेशन देयर सो दिस एक्सप्लेन दिस रीजन इज एक्सप्लेन चेक द ऑप्शन गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन दैट इज ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज टू एड सैंड पाइपर एग्स टू एन इंटरनेशनल फ्रोजन एग बैंक नो ये उन्होंने कोई बात नहीं की कुछ एड नहीं करने की बात की उन्होंने टू मेंटेन ए स्मॉल ग्रुप ऑफ सैंड फाइपर्स फॉर फ्यूचर जनरेशन येस वो स्मॉल ग्रुप बना रहे थे किसका बना रहे थे सैंड पाइपर्स फॉर फ्यूचर जनरेशन to make an audio visual record to the russian sandpiper colony no ye uh, record of the russian uh, to make an audio visual record ye bhi unhone baat main purpose unka ye nahi tha to protect a colony of wild sandpipers through a breeding season no this is also wrong so the option number b is the correct answer to maintain a special group of sandpipers for the future generation that is in order to establish a small self sustaining population there so their main purpose was to establish a small self sustaining population so option b is the correct answer now we read the 35th question what do we learn about the drop in the sandpiper population jab wahan pe drop ki baat aayegi now our keywords are drop in the sandpiper population ड्रॉप होगा सैंड पाइपर पॉपुलेशन का उसके बारे में क्या बात की है पैराग्राफ्स में हम रीड करेंगे फर्दर नाउ रीड द पैराग्राफ सी दैट इज यू माइट वंडर व्हाई बर्ड्स लाइक द स्पून बिल्ड सैंड पाइपर ट्रेवल सच ग्रेट डिस्टेंसेस तो ग्रेट डिस्टेंस वाली हमने हमारी हेडिंग देखी थी दैट आई एक्सप्लेन की रीजन एक्सप्लेन किया गया होगा कि वो इतनी ग्रेट जर्नी जो है वो क्यों ट्रेवल uh, करते हैं तो रीड करते हैं फर्दर अबाउट 8000 किलोमीटर इन टोटल फ्रॉम द विंटरिंग ग्राउंड्स ऑन द ट्रॉपिकल कोस्ट ऑफ बांग्लादेश सो द रीजन इज एक्सप्लेन इन दिस पैसेज सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस द आंसर ऑफ आर सेक्शन सी दैट इज थर्टी क्वेश्चन इज रीजन फॉर कॉन्टिन्यूइंग टू मेक द लॉन्ग जर्नी थर्टी आंसर ऑफ द थर्टी क्वेश्चन इज हेडिंग नंबर सेकेंड Now come to our first blank. हमारी first blank क्या थी In early spring, spoon-billed sandpiper return to their breeding grounds in Russia, in the area known as Dash. Read the paragraph. That is, the spoon-billed sandpiper travels such great distance, about eight thousand kilometer in total, from wintering ground. on the tropical coast of bangladesh burma and vietnam in southeast asia 
to breed on the low land commonly called tundra in north east russia to us area ka naam kya tha usko kya bolte the tundra to hamare jo keywords the breeding ground pe wo aate the asia to breed on the low land commonly called tundra so tundra is the answer of the our first blank so we write the tundra in the first blank and now read this next blank that is although the weather is very often harsh to begin with there are obvious advantages to the sandpiper there is above all a plentiful supply of plentiful supply hai kisi cheez ki wahan pe and another definite plentiful supply kisi cheez ki hai and this makes it possible for the sandpiper chick to develop well द लैक और लैक जो है वो कमी है किस चीज किसी चीज की इज अनादर डेफिनेट एडवांटेज नाउ रीड द पैराग्राफ नाउ दे आर एक्सप्लेनिंग इन द पैराग्राफ दैट पॉइंट ऑफ दो दे ऑफन अराइव टू फाइंड हॉस्टाइल विंटरी वेदर दैट इज हार्श टू लिव वाइल दे आर फाइंडिंग देयर मेड्स एंड मेकिंग देयर नेस्ट देर आर रेलेटिवली फ्यू प्रिडेटर्स ये हमारी जो लास्ट ब्लैंक थी ये Relatively few predators there. That is lack of something. That is lack of predators there, and the abundance of insects. That is here abundance is plentiful supply of insects. So we got the answer of the two blanks. There is above all a plentiful supply of insects, and the lack of predator is another definite advantage. and in the paragraph they are also explaining that the abundance of insects that emerge during the brief but intense arctic summer creates ideal conditions for raising their chicks so we write the answer of the 39 question is insects and the 40th answer is predators so with this our blanks are over and we are left with the list of heading and mcq now read the paragraph d that is the two main factors are responsible for the sand piper's recent rapid decline so this is our mcq ki kya reasons the uh, sand piper's ki population mein decline ke to ye is paragraph mein explain kiye hain we will read the paragraph the ongoing destruction of stop over habitat on its migration route and the hunting on its wintering grounds the development of new industrial सिटीज इज डिस्ट्रॉइंग फॉर्मर तो डिवेलपमेंट जो थी वो किसी किसकी हो रही थी न्यू इंडस्ट्रियल सिटीज की इज डिस्ट्रॉइंग फॉर्मर टाइडल एरियाज जो जिस टाइडल एरियाज को जो डिस्ट्रॉय कर रही थी वे आर सैंड पाइपर एंड द अदर माइग्रेटरी बर्ड्स यूज टू रेस्ट एंड रिफ्यूल तो ये रीजन जो उन्होंने एक्सप्लेन किया है कि क्यों कम हो रही थी सैंड पाइपर्स की पॉपुलेशन तो रीड फर्दर सबसेस्टेंस हंटिंग इज सर्टनली ए हैजर्ड इन सम एशियन कंट्रीज सबसेस्टेंस हंटिंग जो थी वो हैजट थी जो नुकसानदायक थी इन सम एशियन कंट्रीज वे आर हंटर्स ट्रैप बर्ड्स फॉर फूड हंटर्स जो थे वो ट्रैप करते थे बर्ड्स को फूड के लिए कंजर्वेशनिस्ट आर टारगेटिंग दिस प्रॉब्लम विद स्मॉल स्केल इंटरवेंशन कंजर्वेशनिस्ट जो है वो इस प्रॉब्लम को टारगेट कर रहे हैं किससे स्मॉल स्केल इंटरवेशन इंटरवेंशन से फॉर एग्जाम्पल हंटर्स फ्रॉम Forty villages have been given alternative um, sources of income, such as cool boxes in which they can make, they can take fish to sell at markets in return for a haul to the bird netting. So, वो alternative क्या देख रहे हैं कि वो source of income बना रहे हैं कि that by providing cool boxes in which they can take fish to sell at market. इन रिटर्न फॉर अ हार्ट टू द बर्ड नेटिंग बर्ड नेटिंग को रोकने के लिए वो फिशिंग के लिए इनक्रेज कर रहे हैं लोगों को सो so, इस पैराग्राफ में उन्होंने बात की है कि थ्रेट्स की जो वो क्या थे एक तो इंडस्ट्रियल जो वो डेवलपमेंट जो इंडस्ट्रियल सिटीज की हो रही थी वो डिस्ट्रॉय कर रही थी रेडेटर्स थे वो ट्रैप कर रहे थे बर्ड्स को फॉर फूड तो उन्होंने थ्रेट्स की बात की है सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस आर सेक्शन डी दैट इज द थर्टी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हैडिंग अप्रोप्रिएट हैडिंग फॉर दिस सेक्शन इज increasing threats so the answer to this question is heading number 6 now come to the mcq which was what do we learn about the drop in the sandpiper population sandpiper population ke bare mein humne kya reason pata chala iski paragraph se the birds are increasingly being hunted on the way north to russia 
No, this was not the main reason. Scientists are managing to reduce deaths from the netting considerably. No, efforts are being made to protect the protect some of their coastal habitat sites. No, this was no such talk in the paragraph. And the heading number C is economic growth is the one of the underlying cause of the decline. Yes, this is the correct answer. Economic growth is development of new industrial cities is destroying former tidal areas. This was the main reason. So, according to this, the correct heading is economic growth is one of the underlying causes of the decline. Now, read the next MCQ that is 36th question. Which feeling did the writer express when the sandpiper chicks hatched? So, a writer ne apni kya feeling express ki when the sandpiper chicks jo the wo hatch ho gaye the. So, this is our keywords sandpiper chicks hatched. Now read the paragraph E that is once the expedition team had reached its destination it was seven days before we spotted the first sandpiper in the following days more began to arrive and the male song was heard advertising their patches of territory to potential mates as the sandpiper paired up the song gave way to the quiet of egg lying and the incubation in total nine nests were found the first one was lost to a predator along with the female attending it this was a stark reminder of vulnerability of a tiny population to natural events such as storm or predation the team then selected donor nest and transferred the eggs to a to specially prepared incubation uh, they collect 20 eggs in all taking entire clutches each time it was early in the breeding season so the females were likely to lay replacements then 50 days after the after our arrival the moment arrived wo moment jo gaya, i witnessed my first wild spoon bear sandpiper hatch i had been lying inside a wind battered hide for 36 hours when i saw the first tiny chicks emerge from the eggs Having hidden a microscope near the nest, I could also just hear their first calls. Later, I watched them stumbling through the 15 cm jungle of grasses, the comically oversized legs and feet, but my joy was tempered by concern. Lekin uska joy joy wo concern mein badal gaya. The heading we have uh, read about that, that is the heading number third, a disappointment followed by a desired desirable outcomes desirable outcomes jo tha wo aa gaya tha ki wo egg jo hai wo hatch kar gaya tha lekin disappointment bhi saath mein aa gayi now read further but my joy was tempered by concern difficulties on their migration route and their wintering areas meant that other tiny creatures other tiny creatures like these faced many dangers to ye uska concern tha this is the location of our mcq that is about the writer's feeling so the answer of our section e that is the question number 32nd is a disappointment followed by desirable outcome so we will write the heading number three as our answer now come to our 36th mcq that is which feeling did the writer express when the sandpiper chicks hatched option number a is relief that his weight was over no he was not relief as a kuch bhi explain nahi kiya paragraph mein surprised at the sound of their song he was not surprised worry about birds of the same species that yes he was worried ki itne immense danger mein jo other species jo wo kaise rehti thi option number d is amazement that they could walk so soon no he was not amazed so the correct option is option number C that is worry about birds of the same species that he had explained in the last line that is difficult on their migration route and in their wintering areas meant that the other tiny creatures like these faced immense danger. Now read the question 37. The writer describes the sandpipers unit at WWT Sandbridge to emphasize so writer ne kya describe kiya sandpipers ke baare mein unit at WWT Slim Bridge pe. So this we will read in the paragraph. Now 
the paragraph f is the complex rescue plan does give some grounds for hope so this is our heading that is the uh, complex rescue plan jo tha what does give some grounds for hope kuch optimist the wo uh, now read further young stick were flown to the wwt swim bridge last year and again this summer a high tech biosecure unit has been built for them it is divided in two with the older birds in on section and this year's chicks in other to minimize the risk of infection staff change into full body overall and rubber shoes and wash their hands before the entering hygiene is crucial even a single strand of human hair could harm the chicks by becoming twisted round their legs and bills the rescue plan final stage once the captive flock has built up sufficiently will be the will be to fly eggs back to russia to release the chick there it is a gamble but when the survival of a species this special is a stake you have to try so in this paragraph they are talking about that the how much care they have provided to the chicks so according to this our heading number 8 is the correct answer that is cautious optimism so we will write the eighth question as our answer with this our list of headings are over and the answer of our mcq is the writer describes the sandpiper unit at the wwt swim bridge to a swim bridge to emphasize that is how much care is being devoted to their welfare so yes this is the correct answer they were providing so uh, they were providing too much care how much money is being spent no they are not talking about the money his surprise at how fragile at the young birds are no this is not the correct option his confidence in the technology available no he was not so confident so the answer of the 37th question is option number a that is how much care is being devoted to their welfare with this our paragraph is over if you have any query you can comment on the video i will try to reply to your queries see you in the next video bye bye